Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Um, maybe I can see you. Okay. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year too. So, how's the how's the how's your area in in virus? Because there are many there are many cities in Vietnam that are affected by the virus nowadays, right? Am I right? Yeah. Because yeah. my students in Haidong, Haidong, uh, hold yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, that, that's it. The most city. Haidong. He is in <laughs> Haidong, and because we always have a makeup class, we, we always have makeup classes because they are not allowed to go outside. So, so he is in online learning. So he told me that there are many cases there, 500, 500 people. Yeah, now it's seven. Why is it that there are many there? What happened? Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, on the news, they said a woman uh, from Japanese wrote, oh, went to yeah, half a son. Yeah, with no one, uh, like, I'm not sure then affected with coronavirus um i mean that um when he's on the, the airplane he's not sick or coughs but um when he's staying in vietnam for i don't know one week uh she he is a, positive yeah her son <laughs> oh okay you know i have a friend in china we really uh because i am a teacher also in china so i told you before that i i need to go to Viet, either in vietnam or china so i am i am having an online classes with the school so i i, I we keep on we keep in touch every day so i i usually he she usually responded to me every day so i i got shocked when Oh, he she's not responding to my messages like good morning, have a nice day. And then she messaged me yesterday and and telling me that he she is in the hospital because of the chronic pneumonia. Coronavirus? I went to he, she, she said I went to the hospital yesterday, but I am at home right now. So because uh it's it's a pneumonia, but it's not a new crown pneumonia. So it means that it is connected with a coronavirus. I told her you have to you have to take you have to drink lots of water or juices and eat lots of fruits. Fight fight the fight the virus. Eat a lot, and then. Uh, he he she already went back to he, to her house and then and she she went to the hospital and i am and i i am teaching her daughter her daughter is okay that's fine because her daughter is just 3 years old when uh, i am very happy with that because i told her oh it's 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 nice to know that your daughter is not affected in coronavirus Oh, and, uh, yeah. that's that's yeah. very hard in my country baby there are many but then we get used to it <laughs> i see oh my god i watched you through beauty it's so nice yeah so nice and 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 the 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 character of the boy is very he's very handsome yeah he's a singer i don't like i don't like that kind of i don't like that kind of way. she's so handsome there are many girls that will you know like her him yeah he's so handsome so handsome super super handsome yeah because when, when you are in vacation so i am in vacation too so so we installed vu in our tv oh <laughs> uh, um a tech i don't have much money oh how much did you get? 
it's it's fine baby it's better to be okay rather than to get sick right so you are not allowed to go outside what did you do in during that or during your vacation uh i go to my best friend house okay. <laughs> Hi. and then play and then go bad. to my grandfather's house <laughs> Maybe you're not moving. Oh, really? Let me check my internet connection. It's connected. Mine is also connected. Is okay mine now? is. Oh yeah, it's okay now. Maybe because mine is okay. Also. Okay. So so Kue, let's start our new lesson. So our new lesson is pet four test three. Oh okay. <laughs> Because when we keep on talking, we will not be able to have class again. <laughs> okay. But during that, I keep on messaging all of my students. I keep on messaging you. So that's why I am, uh, you keep me posted. I don't know if you are the one that messaging me or your mom. Uh, me. Ah, yeah, it's okay. Me. Okay. Oh, the song again. Yes, it's it's listening test four. I just Hello. it's test four. Let's oh, have no. so four oh. words. It's very easy because we're going to listen only. Okay. Uh. Bye. Okay. So there are seven questions in this part or in part one. For each question, there are three pictures and a short recording. So you are going to choose A, B, or C. What is the correct answer, okay? Okay. Sample. Sister. Yeah, my sister. Before we start, here is an example. What's the time? Have you got the time? Yes, it's 20 past three. Twenty past three is letter? Yeah. Twenty past th three past. So what's what letter is it? Twenty past twenty. It's um uh yeah it this letter yeah very easy oh my brain <laughs> so we need to refresh our brain okay so before we go there let's have vocabulary words peel and then about peel medicine yeah it's a medicine color uh fun oh i am wearing the pantada shirt they sent they sent me one. Oh, yes <laughs> next it is, is shower oh. so shower are, baby. a short period period of rain or snow ah rain shower mm -hmm. or snow shower i thought we are we are taking a bath and using the shower <laughs> oh yeah i thought that too Shower. What does shower mean? Shower is a short period of rain. Rain shower. We call it rain shower or a short period of snow. Rain snow. Snow raining, okay? I've never <gasps> seen snow in my life. Me too, because our country is a tropical country, so we don't so we don't experience any snow. In China, in Korea and Japan, they are snowing. It's always snowing there. So right now, yeah. it's spring, right? What is the weather in your country right now? Spring? No, it's yeah, spring. <laughs> it's spring, baby. <laughs> but it's uh pretty warm, uh cool, cool, not warm. Right now, it's cool. cold in my country, but sometimes it's it's hot, sometimes it's cold. Only oh. raining and or rainy and hot weather in my country. 
So this is a p this is a peel. Yeah. Peel. Oh, there are many kinds of color. Can you read them all? Can you can you pronounce them them? Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Oh, oh is that a party in your house? Uh, my son is my two kids are shouting because they just finished the test. And my sons, my youngest got the second honor. And my 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 eldest got the honor honor also. What I mean? Uh, they are in, in the top of their classes. Oh nice. Yeah. From mom, from mommy. Oh it's good. Good yes. to Pembroke. Can you say it? Pembroke. Pembroke. Stand up. Oh, what the what do you think is this kind of collar that I am wearing right now? Is this an Aberdeen Pembroke? Canada's collar. I think it's it's Pembroke or Aberdeen, maybe. Um yeah, maybe. What's the difference between Aberdeen and Pembroke? They are the same. Um, I'm not sure. Ah, <laughs> this is, I think this is Westminster, baby. Westminster, do you think? Mm, yeah. This is maybe. Westminster. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Stand, uh, stand, stand up, up for... Freeze. Freeze. Yeah, it look like uh or traditional. Yours um, is you are wearing a, a cathedral, I think. No, <laughs> this one it's, it's, a it's a jacket. No, 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 no. Your your sweater. Sweater inside. Yeah, what? You are. It, sh it has a color. <laughs> yeah, it's no doesn't have any. Uh, um, like that, maybe it's yeah. just cathedral. What it's called? Cathedral. Mostly the priests are wearing this kind of collar. Cathedral. Uh, um, okay. I said I have to wear this inside, but it's pretty hot. Uh, okay, so. Okay, now let's try. Again. Wait, 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 wait! I have to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This notebook. We remember the uh, color. What is the color no, we're we wearing? It's 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 Westminster. Westminster, okay. Westminster. <laughs> Westminster. Yes, okay. What about C? Number C. Oh, okay, okay. This one, stand up, up, cathedral, Pembroke. Pembroke and Aberdeen are the same. Oh, Pembroke. Stand up. Stand up and sit down. See, stand up means the color is standing. <laughs> Stir and assemble. Ember did. What ember did? Okay, ready? Yeah. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. What is the man going to buy? Is everything ready for the holiday? I'm just going shopping. I must get those pills I take when I feel travel sick. Do we need anything else at the chemist's? <laughs> we forgot the toothpaste last time. I've got that. I haven't got any sunglasses, but I can borrow yours, can't I? And I'll get something to read at the airport. Right. What 
Now listen again. Is everything ready for the holiday? I'm just going shopping. I must get those pills I take when I feel travel sick. Do we need anything else at the chemist's? We forgot the toothpaste last time. I've got that. I haven't got any sunglasses, but I can borrow yours, can't I? And I'll get something to read at the airport. Right. <clears throat> Two. Which dress is Kate talking about? Oh, Mum, this dress is still dirty. It can't be, Kate. I've only just washed it. Well, it is. The mark on the collar has gone, but there's still a small one here. Look, it's at the front, just below the button. It's where I spilt some coke last week. Now listen again. Oh, Mum, this dress is still dirty. It can't be, Kate. I've only just washed it. Well, it is. The mark on the collar has gone, but there's still a small one here. Look, it's at the front, just below the button. It's where I spilt some coke last week. Three. When will Jane meet them? Hi, it's Pete here. Jane left a message to say she can't meet us at 8 o'clock as planned because her bus doesn't get in till 8.15 and it'll take her 30 minutes to get from the centre of town. I told her the table's actually booked for 8.45, so that would be fine. And we'll see her then. Now listen again. Hi, it's Pete here. Jane left a message to say she can't meet us at 8 o'clock as planned because her bus doesn't get in till 8.15 and it'll take her 30 minutes to get from the centre of town. I told her the table's actually booked for 8.45, so that would be fine. And we'll see her then. 8.15? 15 yards. Ooh. Okay. Which morning activity is for beginners? At 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, there will be swimming lessons at both intermediate and beginner level. Then there will be volleyball practice at 11.30 for all those of you who are already in one of the teams. Also in the morning, for those of you who already know how to sail, there's a chance to do some practice on your own. There will be lessons in both sailing and windsurfing for beginners after lunch. Now listen again. At 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, there will be swimming lessons at both intermediate and beginner level. Then there will be volleyball practice at 11.30 for all those of you who are already in one of the teams. Also in the morning, for those of you who already know how to sail, there's a chance to do some practice on your own. There will be lessons in both sailing and windsurfing for beginners after lunch. Five. Which painting does the woman decide to buy? They're all nice, but you see a lot of flowers everywhere these days, don't you? So that wouldn't be my choice. The same goes for animals, actually. Although I do quite like the one of the horses. So it looks like it'll have to be the one with the boats. It will be a change from that bowl of fruit I've had on the wall all these years anyway. Now listen again. They're all nice, but you see a lot of flowers everywhere these days, don't you? So that wouldn't be my choice. The same goes for animals, actually. Although I do quite like the one of the horses. So it looks like it'll have to be the one with the boats. It will be a change from that bowl of fruit I've had on the wall all these years anyway. Six. What is the man selling? And this is the latest model by MacPoint. You'll find it's even quicker at doing your washing up and needs less water. And it's very easy to use, as easy as 
turning on your shower. Okay. <laughs> now listen again. Funny. And this is the latest model by MacPoint. You'll find it's even quicker at doing your washing up and needs less water. And it's very easy to use. As easy as turning on your shower. Seven. What is the weather forecast for tomorrow? It's been typical spring weather today, sunshine and showers. The next 24 hours should be dry but cloudy. Things look better for the next week with Monday being a fine sunny day and the following day mild but windy. What? I did not get that. Again. Now listen again. It's been typical spring weather today, sunshine and showers. The next 24 hours should be dry but cloudy. Things look better for the next week with Monday being a fine sunny day and the following day mild but windy. Mm, I got it. Okay. That is the end of part one. Okay. So number one is A. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Very good. We're not going to read that anymore because we're done. Okay. Let's go with the part two. 8 to 13, you will hear a radio presenter talking about books or new books. You're going to choose again A, B, or C, okay? okay? Now turn to part two, questions eight to 13. You will hear a radio presenter talking about new books. For each question, put a tick in the correct box. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part two. Why is it that there's a 45 questions? Hey, you're go we are going to read that. <laughs> We're going to listen. Mm -hmm. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Welcome to this week's book program. We've got lots of great new books to tell you about. My Life by Joe Wrigley will keep all fans of Joe's stories happy for hours. It explains a lot about where his ideas come from and gives a picture of what was happening in his life when he was working on his most successful books. I must say, though, that some of it is difficult to understand if you haven't read his other books. Now, for those of you who like a good cry, Goodbye to the Fields by Susan Marks tells the sad story of John, a small boy who has to leave the countryside he loves when the family moved to London because of his father's job. John and his mother would prefer to stay where they are. It's a long time before the family begins to feel comfortable living in the big city. There are plenty of books with helpful advice this week. First, the A to Z of photography would make a great present for anyone just starting out with a camera. It has everything you need to know to take really good photos and learn about cameras, film, lighting and so on. This is not one for the experienced photographer, though. There's not much advanced information here. Turning to the kitchen, Cooking for One by Adrian White says on its cover that even people who hate cooking will find it useful. 
<laughs> a month ago, I couldn't even boil an egg. But now, I'm producing all sorts of dishes. Some quite difficult. And, yes, they taste quite good, too. I'm actually enjoying cooking now. I'm now going to try a new book about cooking Italian food. The last book this week is Holidays in Europe by Mary Curtis. This is an enjoyable read, which will start your imagination working as you plan for next year's holiday. It doesn't matter that the writer doesn't talk about the famous places everyone visits, but describes small places away from the main tourist areas. The maps are too small to be useful, but the book is still good value for money. That's it for this week, then. Next week, there's a special report on giving books as presents. So, if you've saved up your money and you're wondering what to get for a friend or relation for their birthdays, you might get some good ideas. I'll look forward to talking to you then. Now listen again. Welcome to this week's book program. We've got lots of great new books to tell you about. My Life by Joe Wrigley will keep all fans of Joe's stories happy for hours. It explains a lot about where his ideas come from and gives a picture of what was happening in his life when he was working on his most successful books. I must say, though, that some of it is difficult to understand if you haven't read his other books. Now, for those of you who like a good cry, Goodbye to the Fields by Susan Marks tells the sad story of John, a small boy who has to leave the countryside he loves when the family moved to London because of his father's job. John and his mother would prefer to stay where they are. It's a long time before the family begins to feel comfortable living in the big city. There are plenty of books with helpful advice this week. First, the A to Z of photography would make a great present for anyone just starting out with a camera. It has everything you need to know to take really good photos and learn about cameras, film, lighting and so on. This is not one for the experienced photographer, though. There's not much advanced information here. Turning to the kitchen, Cooking for One by Adrian White says on its cover that even people who hate cooking will find it useful. <laughs> A month ago, I couldn't even boil an egg. But now I'm producing all sorts of dishes, some quite difficult. And, yes, they taste quite good, too. I'm actually enjoying cooking now. I'm now going to try a new book about cooking Italian food. The last book this week is Holidays in Europe by Mary Curtis. This is an enjoyable read, which will start your imagination working as you plan for next year's holiday. It doesn't matter that the writer doesn't talk about the famous places everyone visits, but describes lots of small places away from the main tourist areas. The maps are too small to be useful, but the book is still good value for money. That's it for this week, then. Next week, there's a special report on giving books as presents. So, if you've saved up your money and you're wondering what to get for a friend or relation for their birthdays, you might get some good ideas. I'll look forward to talking to you then. Okay, let's try it. That is the end of part two. Okay. Wow. You're... Oh. Presenter next time. Oh, gosh. I, I will just say, oh, your, your mind is very fresh. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, very good. Yeah. Not bad. Still, your mind is very fresh because you, get, you, you, you really listen well. Okay. Okay, this one you're going to hear a teacher talking about camping trip. So this one is it's quite hard. You're going to fill in the missing information in the numbered space. Oh, this is easy for you. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Now turn to part three. Questions 14 to 19. You will hear a teacher 
talking about a camping trip. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have 20 seconds to look at part 3. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Thank you all for coming. I'm going to give you the final details of our camping trip next week. Uh, you may like to make some notes as there's a lot to remember. The coach will be outside the school on Monday morning at 7.30 and we will set off at 7.45 so don't be late. There'll be room on the coach for one bag each, so please don't bring more than one bag or suitcase. Uh, you don't need to bring tents or food, as that's all provided for us, but you will need to bring a sleeping bag. It turns cold at night, so bring some warm clothes too. If we're lucky though, the sun will shine and we'll be able to use the outdoor pool on the site, so don't forget your swimming things. On to pocket money. Please don't bring too much. We can't keep a lot of money safe. Five pounds per day should be plenty, so you can buy souvenirs and drinks while we are out visiting places. You'll probably also want to bring some extra money for the last day when you are free. The campsite is in the middle of the countryside, so if you've had enough fresh air by then, you may want to go shopping in the nearest town, about eight miles away. That's Southport. There's plenty to do there, and there's a bus that stops outside the post office in the village down the road. I'll point it out to you when we get there. On Friday afternoon, before you leave college, please look at the notice board in the entrance hall as there may be some changes to the arrangements which I need to tell you about. Now, has anyone got any questions? Now listen again. Listen again. Thank you all for coming. I'm going to give you the final details of our camping trip next week. Uh, you may like to make some notes as there's a lot to remember. The coach will be outside the school on Monday morning at 7.30 and we will set off at 7.45 so don't be late. There'll be room on the coach for one bag each so please don't bring more than one bag or suitcase. Uh, you don't need to bring tents or food, as that's all provided for us, but you will need to bring a sleeping bag. It turns cold at night, so bring some warm clothes too. If we're lucky though, the sun will shine and we'll be able to use the outdoor pool on the site, so don't forget your swimming things. On to pocket money. Please don't bring too much. We can't keep a lot of money safe. Five pounds per day should be plenty, so you can buy souvenirs and drinks while we are out visiting places. You'll probably also want to bring some extra money for the last day when you are free. The campsite is in the middle of the countryside, so if you've had enough fresh air by then, you may want to go shopping in the nearest town, about eight miles away. That's Southport. There's plenty to do there, and there's a bus that stops outside the post office in the village down the road. I'll point it out to you when we get there. On Friday afternoon, before you leave college, please look at the notice board in the entrance hall as there may be some changes to the arrangements which I need to tell you about. Now, has anyone got any questions? What entrance? What? Entrance hall. That is the end of hall. part three. Hall? Yeah, H-A-L-L, -L, baby. H-A-L-L. -L. Oh, entrance... <clears throat> Oh, entrance hall. Yes, it means it. And uh, when you when you get inside the the campus, there's an entrance hall. There's a bulletin board there, announcement board, so that you can see what's what's going on. What will what are the announcement of the school when you get inside? For example, uh, wear jackets while you are inside the premises. Wear face mask, something like that. 
Okay. Next. Let, I, I believe that. Oh, why did you change? It's why a, did I change? Yes. I thought, oh. I thought that you changed it to oh. 7.45. Okay, okay. Your next swim meeting, drinks, or some place at ancient so you changed to 745. You, you got confused. Okay, this time, so there are six sentences, and you will hear a conversation between a girl, Lisa, and a boy, Ben, about holidays. You're just going to say yes or no. A or B, okay? Okay. Now turn to part four. Questions 20 to 25. No, baby. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a girl, Lisa, and a boy, Ben, about holidays. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part 4. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Hi, Ben. Only one more week at college and then the summer holidays begin. Great, isn't it? I don't know. It might get a bit boring. I don't think I've got enough money to go anywhere nice for a holiday this year. It would be nice to have lots of money to spend, but a good holiday doesn't have to be expensive. Oh, yes, it does. The best holiday I ever had was a few years ago when I went to Greece. I wanted to fly off somewhere hot and lie on the beach and go swimming. Yes, well, I can't afford to do that either. So what are you doing this summer? I'm going on a walking holiday in Scotland with some friends. We went last year and we really enjoyed it. We walked all day and spent the nights in youth hostels. Why don't you come with us? We're going for two weeks. It won't cost much, and you'll come home feeling really relaxed and fit. Mm, I'm not sure. Walking all day sounds like hard work to me. And surely you're not hoping for lots of sunshine in Scotland. <laughs> it did rain a bit last year, but most of the time it was sunny. Anyway, it's not good walking in the heat. You have to stop all the time to rest and have drinks. Well, I like the sun. And I like to stay in comfortable hotels, not youth hostels. But they are comfortable. They're basic, and the food's often not very good, but they're very clean and cheap. In fact, I prefer them to hotels because the people are always so friendly. Hmm, maybe. Look, Lisa, thanks a lot for asking me, but I think I'll just stay home and get bored. Now listen again. Hi, Ben. Only one more week at college and then the summer holidays begin. Great, isn't it? I don't know. It might get a bit boring. I don't think I've got enough money to go anywhere nice for a holiday this year. It would be nice to have lots of money to spend, but a good holiday doesn't have to be expensive. Oh, yes, it does. The best holiday I ever had was a few years ago when I went to Greece. I want to fly off somewhere hot and lie on the beach and go swimming. Yes, well, I can't afford to do that either. So what are you doing this summer? I'm going on a walking holiday in Scotland with some friends. We went last year and we really enjoyed it. We walked all day and spent the nights in youth hostels. Why don't you come with us? We're going for two weeks. It won't cost much, and you'll come home feeling really relaxed and fit. Mm, I'm not sure. Walking all day sounds like hard work to me. 
And surely you're not hoping for lots of sunshine in Scotland. <laughs> it did rain a bit last year, but most of the time it was sunny. Anyway, it's not good walking in the heat. You have to stop all the time to rest and have drinks. Well, I like the sun. And I like to stay in comfortable hotels, not youth hostels. But they are comfortable. They're basic, and the food's often not very good. But they're very clean and cheap. In fact, I prefer them to hotels because the people are always so friendly. Hmm, maybe. But Lisa, thanks a lot for asking me. But I think I'll just stay home and get bored. Okay, let's try it. That is the end of part four. Oh. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's, it's Ben wants to stay in. You now have six minutes to check oh. and copy your answers onto the answer sheet. Okay. Oh, oh. The, the boy have... preferred to. Maybe we only have four parts. I thought it's, it's. It's uh five parts, okay? Oh. Okay. Yes, we finish it. I thought we we're not going to finish it. <laughs> okay. So see you on Monday. See you. Oh, good night. I can eat my dinner now. <laughs> I can have a washing now. Okay, good night. A shower. Yeah. Okay, careful. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>